hello and uh, welcome to this video i am shivshankar and uh, as usual this video has been recorded in 720p resolution so please watch at 720p we have done factorial using recursion in our last part so this time as promised uh, we are doing fibonacci series now as usual i take input how many numbers we want and then i run a loop for calculation of those fibonacci numbers and this is the calculation this is pretty easy if the number is 0 or 1 then we print the first two numbers of the fibonacci series otherwise we print the sum we return the sum notice that fib has been called again here so that it goes in a recursive loop now <coughs> you would say why am i using a for loop and then why i am calculating fibonacci minus 2 which would be calculated in this calculation fibonacci minus 1 the moment you try to use fibonacci minus 1 it will get passed here and then fibonacci minus 2 and fibonacci minus 3 will be calculated so that leaves the optimization part and that is a task in this particular recording to you my reader that you need to optimize this two optimization one is you remove this loop second is you are not supposed to do recalculation of fibonacci numbers you need to calculate only once one of the ways to do is you use a storage mechanism like an array or list but uh, i even forbid you from that you're not supposed to store the calculated fibonacci numbers you just calculate it and run it so uh, as in our uh, factorial tutorial the same way stack winding and uh, up winding will happen let's just run this quickly and let's get done with this so let's say i want 10 fibonacci numbers so it prints all of them say i want 20 it prints again i want 30 that's also fine say if you want 40 now see because of inefficiency it takes time if you put 50 over there it would take even longer that is why the optimization is up to you you are supposed to optimize this program as a task because it has been some time since uh, we have been doing uh, these tutorials we are in our 35th tutorial so i hope by now you would have learned something so i ask you to optimize this part one of the ways to optimize this is using compiler optimization so let's see if compiler optimization helps us we go down and here i simply say minus o3 which is the highest possible optimization it has not yet calculated so i say make func4 okay so ignoring the value return value of scanf okay so okay which line 16 gg 16 okay we can ignore the value returned by scanf that is not a problem <coughs> so let us run this again and we try to do for 40 50 we were trying uh, I, I don't think this will help a lot to us because uh, 50 is quite a big number and CPU fans have started because it has to do lots of computation. So <clears throat> the key point here is if your algorithm is bad, which is bad in this particular case, then you have no hope. You have got to optimize your algorithm. This is certainly a very bad algorithm. I, I would rather terminate this. Trying to calculate 50 Fibonacci numbers with this algorithm is a really, really bad idea. Okay, so with this, I'll end the tutorial for this. And uh, I will see you in my next part where more of functions will come. Thanks for watching the video. And keep programming. That's the one thing I always say.